This is the solid center of the festival. Design and craftsmanship and quality that go to make the fame of Britain's goods. The skills that made the British workmen famous. The Festival of Britain in 1951 was extraordinary. It showed the way for modern design to be appreciated. We were all called industrial artists at that time but the word designer really came out of the festival collection of us. And, you know, it was an extraordinary event for people in London, opened their eyes to what the future might hold. Centre Point was a huge surprise. It was a great surprise to me because I had my offices and furniture showrooms in Hanway Place. So we saw this amazing construction going up. The exciting thing for young designers and architects was the construction method, all the segments fitting together and going up so quickly. It was the sort of thing that we all believed in and had never seen happening. It coincided exactly with the date that the first Habitat shop opened. A chap called Eduardo Palozzi called it the first pop building. Everybody was producing pop paintings and pop music, and I was selling pop furniture. It fitted perfectly to what was at that time a big cultural change going on in London. You know, mini skirts, habitat, music, my crowd of friends loved it because, you know, it was modernity and something that we'd all believed in. I mean, we'd been terrifically impressed by the Bauhaus and here on our doorstep was a manifestation of that teaching, those ideas, right in the centre of London. It's part of the war child in me that hates to see wastage things being smashed down when they can be refurbished and reused. I just like this business of being able to get life going again in existing structures. A symbol of the future, I think.